Hi, welcome back to, to the Domesticated Bear. It's been a while since we posted, so I'll make the easy joke and say we were in hibernation. Today we're gonna to talk about sweaters again. Um, this is a sweater that I've had for a long time that I really like. It's got a full zipper, it's a cardigan. Um, I like it because it's really versatile. And I really wore it a lot, I wear it still a lot. Um, but it made me think about a different sweater that I own that was in my drawer that I didn't wear very often, and it's this one. And um, it's also kind of a, a heavier wool sweater. And it used to be a quarter zip. It used to only go like down to here. And I thought maybe if it had that full zip and it was more of a jacket like this one, that I would wear it more. And so a few years back, I actually put a full zipper down the front of it, which was a little bit uh, uh, scary at first. Um, but once it was finished, uh, I actually do wear it a lot more now. It's a lot more versatile. It's a lot more comfortable for me to wear. Um, Cause kind of pulling it on over, you know, over your head off and on is always a little bit awkward, especially if you're at work or school or wherever. So we're gonna go through the steps of how to do that. It's a process called steaking, S-T-E-K-I-N-G. Uh, we're gonna steak the front of this sweater. Um, it's another commercially made sweater. Uh, it, was, it had a quarter zip right here. And we're gonna split it down the front and uh, put in a zipper and make this into more of a jacket style cardigan. So I've already done a little bit of prep on this sweater. I actually removed, there was a zipper right here. I removed that already, you can see that's here. I did that with a, a small pair of scissors. You could do it with the seam ripper as well. Uh, I took off, there's a little bit of facing here, this knit facing on the back. That was just to make it look nice and feel comfortable against your, your skin. And there was also this little bit of binding that actually went over this placket where the zipper sat before. What I did in addition to that was actually took some brighter color thread, I used a yellow right here, and I just traced uh, with a hand needle, just ran a stitch right in the middle of this sweater. Um, so I could see later that's actually where I'm gonna cut that out. So now we're gonna turn the sweater inside out. Okay, so we've got our sweater turned inside out. You can see this line of yellow stitching that I put in there that shows me the exact middle of the front of the sweater. And I've got this, uh, it's a piece of black uh, fusible uh, knit interfacing. So it's got, it doesn't really have much give to it, but it's nice and light. It's not gonna get bulky. It's not gonna make the front of the sweater feel clunky. But what it's gonna do is stabilize that so that we can be sure we're not stretching it out as we put the zipper in the front and it's not gonna make anything go strangely. Um, so, while I don't always pin interfacing on when I'm doing regular sewing, I'm gonna hold this in place since it's kinda key that it stays nice and centered. The end is right at the end. This end kind of falls, kind of goes up in between these two, um, this return on the uh, collar. And then I've got that front of the placket where the zipper was before that's butted up as close as it can be underneath here. Right, so my iron's nice and hot. I'm gonna move that pin. I'm gonna go ahead and fuse that on with heat. So we've got our sweater turned right side out again, and I can still see my original line right here. That's my center front line. I'm gonna use my sewing machine on a fairly short stitch. I'm gonna set it to about a two um, out of five. And I'm, on each side of this line, I'm gonna stitch a straight stitch all the way down. I don't need to do the placket because it's already open. But from here, all the way down to the hem, I'm gonna start over here, go all the way down to the hem, one on each side, and that's gonna stabilize all of this knitting so that I can cut this straight down the middle. Okay, so we've done our stabilizing stitches on both sides of the center front line. This is the big moment we get to cut this open. Uh, so what I did just to make sure I don't damage the back of the sweater or accidentally cut that, I actually slid my rotary cutting mat in here. You could use anything in there. You could put a piece of cardboard or anything like that. Um, that's just a safety precaution. You could also just be extra careful. So I've got a nice sharp pair of scissors and I'm gonna go right on that line between the two lines that I stitched, my original hand stitched line. There we are. So we've got two halves now. Uh, now we're gonna start looking at how to install our zipper. So I've got my zipper here. Um, I actually found one that was right at the right length already. 
Um, you can always buy a zipper a little bit longer than you need, but you can you need to shorten it from the correct end. For a, for a non-separating zipper, like a regular zipper, uh, we might be able to, sep to shorten it from the bottom. But on a separating zipper, since we need this kind of the, this uh, mechanism that the manufacturer creates to make it a separating zipper, we have to shorten it from the top. There's kits that can help you do that, and I'm sure lots of tutorials out there as well. Uh, so what we're going to do, we want to, to set this in place. Um, I'm going to have this be a centered zipper. I don't mind seeing it when the jacket's on. And in order to do that, we're going to put it kind of right sides together like we do for most sewing. We're going to pin just these edges. We're going to line up the edges and pin it together. Uh, to make this a little bit easier, I'm actually going to put it back right side together, separate the zipper apart, and just use the side we need for this. I'm taking away the one we don't need. We're going to flip this one over. So the teeth are actually over here and the edge is over here. I'm gonna start by lining up the bottom edge and get those zipper pulls out of my way while I work. I'm gonna line up the bottom edge first because we know that we want that right at the very bottom edge because that's the only way you can get them started, right? And then we'll go ahead and line up the top edge and kind of make everything else kind of smooth and meet out in the middle. So there's this very top edge. So we can zip it all the way up. Make sure it's nice and flat. And I know people tend to get really nervous about zippers. One thing I can recommend, if you feel like you have a, a zipper phobia, or if you feel like they give you trouble, if you take the extra time, and it's not much extra time, uh, if you take a little extra time and actually hand stitch the zipper in place first, if you hand baste it, uh, a lot of the times our trouble comes from the pins and the zipper are kind of fighting. It's two things that are kind of stiff um, on something else. It's usually not very stiff and they get in a fight as they go into the presser foot on the machine and things end up going badly right there. So if you do a hand basted zipper first, uh, the pins aren't in the way. You're just dealing with the zipper and the fabric and the things are really nicely held in place. So if that's a problem, then try that. It's worth a shot. It's easier than ripping your zipper out four times and doing it again. So I've got half the zipper pinned in. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half as well. I'm gonna stitch those with the zipper foot uh, and I'm gonna get my needle kind of as close to the teeth as I can get right here. And then once that's seamed, it'll actually turn back like that. And we'll see just the zipper teeth along the edge and the tape won't be visible anymore. Okay, so we've got both halves of our zipper in. Um, everything's lining up really nicely. I'm really happy with where we're at right now. You can see even like the places where the patterns were, they're kind of still registering very nice, which means we got it very even when we, uh, we applied the zipper. So the one thing we need to do now then, because it looks nice on the outside, we're close, but the inside is still kind of very unfinished. So we're actually gonna apply um, a little bit of a facing on the inside. I purchased some knit fabric, uh, not super stretchy knit, but like a ponte knit. Um, you could use anything actually. You could use a woven because this is so stabilized with the zipper now. Woven fabric would work there fine. I've got a two inch piece right here and I'm actually gonna finish it off before we start with the serger. But it's actually gonna sit right here. We're gonna att attach it flat open like this next to the zipper teeth. We're gonna stitch down this edge first. Then we're gonna turn this back, top stitch the zipper down from the outside. And then we'll probably hand catch the edge of this facing back from here. Okay, so I've got my facing strip here. I serge that all off, and I've got that pinned right next to my zipper, not so close that it's ever gonna get involved with the teeth. Uh, and that's kind of turned back, so I'm just stitching the facing to the zipper. That little bit of seam allowance we have that the zipper stitched to. I'm not stitching it all the way through to the front right now. Um, I'm gonna actually zigzag that um, over the serging, just so it's a nice secure uh, line, and also it's gonna help kind of keep the seam allowance and check in the back as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now the facings have been stitched on and I've got this side turned back and I've pinned it carefully from the outside. I'm actually gonna top stitch right along that zipper so that we know these this part of the knit is never gonna roll over and get caught in those teeth when we try to zip it. Okay, so here we are. We've got our zipper installed, it's been top stitched, we have our facings in. I went ahead and actually hand stitched back this edge of the facing, so this is now kind of all in place, it can't go anywhere. Uh, we can't actually see it from the outside, but uh, it's nice and secure, so that's smooth, so the back of the zipper looks nice now. Uh, the only thing I really have left to do is a little bit of hand stitching up here at the, at the collar. We're gonna resolve that and get that all sealed up. And the same thing here down at the hem. There's a little bit of hand stitching to be done there. Um, but we've got a nice workable sweater. For me, this is a much more wearable sweater. Uh, we've got the full zip instead of just that quarter zip, which means it's a lot more versatile. Um, and that's a really nice example of sticking a sweater and, and converting a quarter zip to a full zip. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the domesticated bear. If you've got any ideas for other videos, or if you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave it in the comments, and uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.